Goldermer, from leader to war crimes. Goldermer, often celebrated as a hero and an iconic leader in Israel's history, is indeed a complex figure with a controversial legacy. While a good deal of hail her as the Iron Lady and Israel's first female prime minister, there are others who view her as something entirely different, a figure associated with war crimes and terrorism. This article delves into the multifaceted legacy of Goldermer, acknowledging both her achievements and the criticism surrounding her actions. The Early Years, A Champion of Zionism Goldermer was born in Kiev in 1898, but later immigrated to the United States and eventually moved to British Mandate Palestine in 1921. There, she quickly became involved in the Zionist movement and played an active role in building a Jewish homeland in what was then a tumultuous region. Her commitment to the Zionist cause led her to key leadership positions within the Israeli Labour Party. The Heroic Image, Israel's Iron Lady Mar's most significant and defining role came when she became the fourth Prime Minister of Israel in 1969. During her tenure, she was known for her unwavering determination and strong leadership, particularly during times of crisis. Her remarkable handling of the 1973 Yom Kippur War bolstered her image as the Iron Lady. Her resolute stance was seen as essential in securing Israel's existence in the face of severe threats. The Criticism, War Crimes and Terrorism Allegations While Mar is celebrated for her contributions to Israel's security, her legacy is war crimes and terrorism. The controversy largely revolves around the events of the 1972 Munich Olympics, where a Palestinian terrorist group killed 11 Israeli athletes. In retaliation, Mar proved Mossad's Operation Wrath of God, which aimed to assassinate those responsible for the Munich attack. While the mission achieved its objectives, it raised questions about the morality of state-sponsored assassinations. Moreover, her stance during the 1973 Yom Kippur War and the associated controversy surrounding the lack of preemptive action has fueled criticism. Many argue that her reluctance to launch a preemptive strike may have led to unnecessary Israeli casualties. A legacy shrouded in grey. In essence, the legacy of Goldurma remains enigmatic and polarizing. While some see her as a national hero who steered Israel through tumultuous times, others look at her as a war crime leader. It is essential to recognize that historical figures like Goldurma are rarely black and white, and their actions must be analyzed within the context of their time and the challenges they faced. The debate surrounding Goldurma's legacy serves as a reminder that history is seldom straightforward and often invites a nuanced perspective. It is crucial to engage in open dialogue and critical examination of the actions of influential figures to understand the complexities of their contributions to the world stage.